So it's Sam Darnold, the Jets' new face of the franchise. You have to imagine the butterflies going through his stomach right now. Sam Darnold, the third overall pick in 2018's draft, was welcomed to the pros with a lesson in humility and the power of patience. The throw across the field, and it's going to be a pick six on the very first play of Sam Darnold's debut. So Monday night football, your first career pass, and it's a pick six. You just kind of sit back and be like, well, that just happened. Uh, how are we going to respond? And I think my teammates did a really good job of rallying me. Um, they're just like, hey, Sam, just go out there, Mo. You're, you're our guy. You're going to go out there and do well. Just, you know, that's over. It happened. Put it behind you. And I think our whole team did a great job of that. We ended up winning the game big. Um, first start ended up being a good one. So looking back on it is a cool thing. So I'm told in ninth grade you had a list of life goals. <laughs> you remember what was on the list? You guys did your homework, huh? Take a look. Attend USC, I did that. Become a sports broadcaster for ESPN. I think that's up to some of you guys later on. Become a father, haven't done that yet. Never drink or use drugs in my life. And then <laughs> number five, be remembered as the nice one. I'd say most of those things is check, check, check. <laughs> where, where does the idea of the nice one come from in your life? Well, I think for me, it was just, you know, me and my sister growing up, uh, our parents just instilled it in us. Um, my dad always said, treat others the way you want to be treated. Um, that was kind of his saying around, you know, whenever we'd get in trouble or, you know, because every kid gets in trouble every now and then, you know, we'd get in trouble, we'd say something that, you know, um, we probably shouldn't have said. He would just be like, hey, just treat others the way you want to be treated. And I don't know why, but that just kind of you know, kind of left a mark in my, in my brain and, you know, I just kind of ran with it as a kid and I feel like even now it's, it's still really instilled in me and I have my parents to thank for that. And it might be that a nice guy can finish first. Under a new head coach and with an all-pro running back next to him, Darnold can build on momentum that moved him into elite company as last season wound down. Darnold with the shotgun takes the snap, fires left, end zone, that's a chip touchdown! What a play by Sam Darnold! Over the last four weeks of the season, who would you say were PFF's three highest graded quarterbacks? <laughs> um, shoot, Pat, Pat Mahomes. I know I, I did pretty well, uh, so I'd have to put me up there too. Um, maybe Russ, Russell. Andrew Luck, the MVP Patrick Mahomes. And those two trailed only you. <laughs> what would you say you were undeniably better at at the end of the year? Yeah, you know, I think going from the beginning of the season, um, a little over halfway, and then getting hurt, um, I got time. I think the biggest thing was time for me mentally just to focus on what I needed to focus on. Um, kind of sitting back and, and taking a deep breath, you know, taking some time off, but then also being able to watch Josh McCown play, um, watch him go about a week, um, because as we all know, you know, he. You know, he was kind of telling me how to do things. He's like, oh, in the walkthrough, this is how you command stuff. And um, when things aren't going right, really get the sense of urgency up and get them going. And I'd be like, okay, I'll do that. And, you know, I'd go through a walkthrough and try to do exactly what he told me to do. Um, but it's one thing listening to what he had to say and him telling me what to do versus actually watching him do it. And I think that was one of the biggest learning experiences for me was just how to command myself every single day as the leader of the team and, and just as a quarterback. Everyone, thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports, more analysis, download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. We'll see you there.